welcome to this journalism.co.uk screencast. My name is Abigail Edge and today I'll be showing you how to set up advanced search columns in TweetDeck to track breaking news or information around a particular topic or beat. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to assume that you're already using TweetDeck and are familiar with some of its more basic functions. So let's go ahead and add a new search column to my TweetDeck. Say for example if I wanted to monitor real-time news around the recent EU and local elections, I could do a simple search for the hashtag EP2014 or elections, which would bring up tweets containing either the hashtag or the word elections or both. It's important here that the OR is in capitals, otherwise TweetDeck won't recognise it as part of your search operator. I can also search for tweets that pose a question by including a question mark. Answering questions is a really good way to build followers on Twitter and boost engagement. Similarly, you can include tweets with a positive or a negative attitude by searching for a smiley or a frown face. If you want to search for tweets within a specific location, you'll need this search operator, which is quite long, so I've cheated and put it into a plain text editor beforehand. Here I'm searching for either the hashtag and keyword elections plus the word Birmingham or any tweets that are geotagged as being within 25 miles of Birmingham. If I just wanted to search for news near Birmingham, I could just remove the first part of the search. TweetDeck also has a number of built-in filters to make your results more specific. So I can search for tweets that only include images, videos or links. Let's go for images. You can exclude keywords or users in this box here, and I can choose to show tweets only in English or any other language I choose. And I'm going to exclude retweets because I only want to see original tweets, which is a really good way of narrowing down your search results if you have a lot of them. In the User tab, you can check when your keywords have been mentioned by a specific user, including verified users and members of a particular list. You can also check when those users have mentioned another user in their tweet, which is particularly useful for monitoring a conversation. You can also drill down to tweets with high levels of engagement, which may give you an indication of how important they are by specifying that you only want to see posts with a certain amount of retweets, favourites or replies. And let's add that column now. If you want TweetDeck to send you an alert when the column is updated, which is particularly useful for monitoring breaking news, you can set sounds or pop-ups under the Alerts tab here. And that's how you set up advanced search columns in TweetDeck. Check back next week for another TweetDeck screencast, where I'll be demonstrating how you can use Bitly Analytics to see what kind of engagement the links you post are getting.